Also on the rise, unemployment numbers. More than 10 million people applying for unemployment benefits in the last two weeks of March. And the numbers are expected to keep on growing. Many Americans wondering when they'll see the money from the $2 trillion stimulus package. Joining us now to help us understand how to maximize unemployment benefits and pay is financial expert and wealth coach Deborah Owens. She's live in Baltimore, Maryland. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. It's good us. to be back. Thank you. Well, first of all, can you start by giving us some tips? Well, I want to first kind of set the stage. The truth is that for African Americans, getting their share of the economic stimulus pie is more challenging. And that is because in the economic stimulus plan, uh, the unemployment benefits now allow for 1099 miscellaneous or part-time workers. However, for African Americans, they're more likely to be contingent workers or be paid in cash. And so one of the um, issues really is, is that how do they make sure that they qualify for some of these stimulus, for some of the stimulus? And so what I really want to encourage the audience to do, if they are uh, a part-time worker or maybe they receive 1099, uh, income is to make sure that they're able to document what they're receiving. That's the most important uh, aspect of it, because whether or not you get the full uh, $1,200, well, most are, people will get the full $1,200 if they fall below a certain income. In order to get the unemployment benefits, specifically because we see so many, all, double the amount of people filed in this um in this last week, what's important is that you're able to document that uh, income. And so a couple of tips I want to give the audience is, number one, to make sure that you, if you receive 1099 miscellaneous income, that business was supposed to give you a 1099 miscellaneous form. If you didn't receive it, then what you need to do is make sure you're keeping track of your bank account statements. And that's another way to kind of document other income. I don't want people to feel like, oh, it's not worth it because they need to file for unemployment if they were unemployed and then get whatever, um, provide any documentation that they ask for. Those are some good tips. Are there any other ways that people can kind of get through this? A lot of people saying that $1,200 probably isn't enough, uh, and they're not even sure if they're going to get that much. Can file. Uh, there's another aspect of the bill that I don't think people are aware of, and it's the economic industry disaster loan. Now you have to apply for that loan and that really uh, allows for uh, um, independent contractors, sole proprietors, which if you think about it, you have, you're getting 1099 miscellaneous income, you are. And so you, you apply for that economic disaster loan and within there, there is a $10,000 grant. So you need to go to sba.gov in order to apply for the, first you have to apply for the loan, then you may qualify for the grant, but you must apply for the loan and able to even be considered. I'm sure a lot of people are asking you questions. What's the most uh, common question that you're getting from people? Well, the most common like question I'm, yeah, the most common question I'm getting for people in, in our community really is, will do I qualify? Uh, and what do I do if I have a concern that I am going to maybe be furloughed? Because it's kind of rolling out as uh, companies see whether or not they can have, they can afford to stay in business. Uh, hopefully this uh, stimulus package will get to business owners quicker because the number one fear that people have right now is, is their income in jeopardy? But one last tip I want to give, and that is really look at your um, expenses right now and what are the things that you can, that are not, that are kind of wants and not need. So I have our community going through their bank statements looking at what are trade-offs. Now that you're at home, you're not spending as much, but the, the whole point is really to build your emergency fund because we don't know how long this is gonna go. And I think that's the, the biggest concern is when will this end? 
Right. Save, save, save. Good advice. Thank you so much for joining us, Deborah. We appreciate Thanks your time. Thanks so much for having me.